Hi there, I'm John Leach, and you're watching Arc Fishing. I'm your host John Leach. Today is Saturday, September 21st, 2019. Um, I'm at my home lake, which is Blue Marsh Lake, First County, PA. I'm launching out of Dry Brooks Launch Ramp. I'm going to head up to No Wake Zone and see if I can't pull a few fish out. I think I'm going to start out flipping and pitching. I don't know. I'm going to decide if I want to crank. I'm going to move to flip and pitch. I'm really tired. It's been a long week. So I'm probably going to flip and pitch. Maybe I'll throw a crankbait. We'll see what happens. Let me go up to No Wake Zone. There's a lot of boats there. I think there might be a tournament going on here from somewhere else, like some other county or maybe from New Jersey or something. I saw a couple of New York plates in there, so I think there might be a bass tournament going on here, but we'll see. Alright, I'll see you when I get to No Wake Zone. Got my first fish in the boat. Nice smallmouth. I don't think he's going to be legal, but I'm not complaining for first fish. Measures. Look at that man, beautiful, 13 inch smallmouth there, I can show you I'm catching them on. I'll take a picture of him. Alright, let me release him and I'll show you what I'm using. Beautiful, healthy 13 inch smallmouth bass. Catch and release. Give me a good point for a 13 inch. So, I started out throwing a Berkeley Havoc uh, Pit Boss. I, I think the, I forget what the name is for that particular curl. Well, he really destroyed this, man. Hold on a second. So, I, I didn't get any hits on it. So then I started throwing a four inch black Sanko, and I had a few hits, but I think they were all bluegills hitting it. I had no bass hit it. So then I started, I lost it because I got hung up, and I didn't feel like we tie him. So I thought I'll, I'll throw this one. So I'm throwing a white Zuper. It's called a white super fluke. It's made by Zoom. And I'm using obviously my favorite hooks, uh four out coming out to weighted hook. That's what I'm using. And it was about my third or fourth cast that smallmouth nailed it. So I think it was all I'm gonna stick with. This this tells me what this what they're feeding on. I think they're feeding on bait fish. Cause so I didn't get a hit on the crayfish, I can get a hit on that worm other than bluegills. So that's telling me these fish want minnows or soft plastic swim baits because I was only my like third or first cast on this lure, and that fish gave me a really good fight for a 13 incher. Oh, I got everything all freaking tangled. I got everything all tangled up. But all right, I'm gonna turn this camera back off. If I catch any more fish, I'll turn the camera back on. I want to conserve battery and um, memory because I'm only like 12, 31 o'clock. I'm gonna be out at 7 o'clock. I'm not gonna run the camera the whole time. That's gonna be a waste of battery and memory. All right, so hopefully I'll get some more fish on this boat. All right, finally got another on the boat. It's been a long while, man. It's been a really tough bite. Just went through a lot of lint. Not a big one, but I'll sure be getting this going. I'm gonna measure them quick. Two 
Day 13 looks like a small now. I'm gonna take some pictures of him quick. All right, 13 inch largemouth bass, Blue Marsh Lake, Berks County, PA. Catch and release. my lure but I'm not complaining. Uh, for hours and all I landed was two fish. He destroyed my lure. Alright, see if I can fix this and I'll show you what I'm using. One of my all time favorite lures. Damn it's still silent them all. Alright there it is. Four inch silver Sanko. It's actually it's called a yum digger and the color, color is called tinfoil. Use a four out four out gamagatsu weighted hook. I threw the DT Craw uh, crankbait, I threw the River Minnow crankbait, Berkey Habit Pit Boss, um, and then I threw the Zoom Super Fluke, I caught that 13 smallmouth on that one, so it's only the second fish of the day, it's been a really, really tough bite. We got a lot of bluegills hitting, but that's only the second bass I hit today. And I got about 50 minutes left to fish and then I'm done, so we'll see what happens. Alright, well thanks for watching this edition of Work Fishing. It's been a really tough day on the lake. I had a ton of bluegills hit my lure. I should have probably just given me one for bluegills. I could have made a real nice bluegill or panfish episode. But all I landed was a 13 inch smallmouth and a 13 inch largemouth. It's been a tough day in the lake. I don't know why. It was hardly any like, boats out here. The weather was beautiful. I mean, it was like perfect fishing conditions. I don't know why the bite was so tough. But hey, two fish is better than nothing. That's why I'm looking at it. Shrubby's getting skunked.